Well, greetings to my subscribers and anyone else who may be watching now. Um, I made this quite a long time ago, last year. I actually purchased the cover in March, but I think it sat around, oh, probably for a couple of months before I did anything with it. I just loved the cover and I purchased it to make a journal for myself. And I'm just now going to show it because I'm not sure what I'm going to do, if I will let it go or not. But I'm kind of on the fence. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I thought I'd do a video. Anyway, the, the cover was purchased from um, Rustic Prairie Gems. And I, want, I searched for this fabric, oh my gosh, everywhere I could think of online. And everybody either had had it and it was us. Uh, gone and they didn't expect to get any more so as i would have just made another cover and then sold this one so this is the back it's a soft cover i just think it's really sweet with a lace uh, closure tie you open it up and then i put um pockets across the both the covers or no I take that back. It came with the pockets already. I put, um, these are um, Victorian cards that were probably in a scrapbook, judging by the back. Yeah, there's some residue glue. 1890. So I've got her on the front, in the front pocket, which is great because sometimes these big cards, I don't make journals big enough for them. And I seem to be losing my voice today. I don't know why. So I did some stitching. I think this one might be... I made it so long ago, I don't remember where the digitals came from. It might be chapter one, but I'm not positive. So now I'm going to start writing them down as I make the journal. But back then I didn't. So there's some stitching. And then this is a fabric pocket with the applique. And... Um, this does have some stenciling, but you really can't even see it. There's stenciling up here and on the bottom. I don't think you can see it. And then it's just um, a little flip with some papers that you can write on. And this page came from Rhonda, I think. Rhonda Winstead. And this is some Japanese paper. And then this is an um, actual part of a doily, and there's a little hidden pocket inside there. So just on vellum, little, on one of those letters that they write both ways. But you can hide something in there, you wouldn't even notice that it was a pocket. With some shorthand. That's some lovely marbled paper. And this is actually really marbled paper. It's not um, um, a digital. And some coffee light and some more stitching. And here's another pocket that's kind of hidden. And it's just got... Um, I don't remember. There we go. It's got some little doodads that I put in there. Slips in here. To get it in right, you can't see it. Don't notice it. This is from a book. And this is an old letter. In French, um, looks like 1882, maybe. And here's an old invoice. Or payment. It's actually payment for something. It looks like it's um, 1905. This is from an old bird book, some old music, and a 
lace pocket with um, an old postcard and a um, flashcard, French. You have to kind of juggle that in because there's so many openings. And this is an old um, book. And there's another old bird book. And this is rice paper and some uh, stenciling paste <clears throat> on that page. And this is the, if you've seen my others, you know I have a lot of these pages from this 1890s um, ledger book with this just beautiful Spencerian writing. So I always usually put one in each journal because it's huge and I have lots. And this is uh, printed on an old book page. Some old, and this is just a digital. And this is actually on vellum, real vellum, from um, a hymnal, an old hymnal. So this is quite old. And then this page at the pocket. A little bit of an interruption there. I hope I can splice this together. So we're back to this pocket. And um, here's a little card I made. And then this is just... But these clips are hard to get off. Um, so some various papers you can do whatever with. Put them around, journal on them, decorate them. Whatever your heart desires. And there's a side tuck. This is a little one of Rachel's envelopes. And inside we have a little cluster, a little picture, and a little cluster. And this Trying to see if this is a copy. I think it's a copy. Yeah. Copy of an old document. It's on newsprint, so it feels has that old feel to it. I'll just flip some there. And this is not the envelope isn't glued. You could glue it. And here's pocket made from a book page with um, an old postcard and a map of the Louvre. Old children's book. This is a treated napkin, a dragonfly. This is from an old bird book. This is part of an old receipt. And this just um, folds out. And it has some more clipped little goodies in there. Ephemera. This is handmade paper. This is gorgeous. I think it's Italian paper. Another old book. This is also printed on newsprint. Our book page, a treated napkin, waxed nap, um, doily, there's the center, it has a button and some glass beads, there's the rest of that, printing on a book page, and that Italian paper, and this is a doily that's folded around to make a pocket and has a long skinny uh, tag. And then the same on this side with a long skinny tag. This is some antique ribbon. It's really beautiful. 
And then this flips out like so. And I don't remember how this opens. This way. I guess I don't have anything in there. You can slip whatever you want in there. It's just, that's the backing. <clears throat> More of that hymnal page on vellum. on a book page. This is just a little fabric swatch. More ledger, some um, straw paper, rice paper, gorgeous flicker. We have those here where I live. I just love them. More of that other old um, book that has uh, all different things, things on handwriting, how to write a letter, etc. And then in this pocket, we have another old postcard. These postcards came out of a, um, like a journal from the 1930s. I think it was 1933. And this woman had gone on a cruise all over England, Scotland. And um, she didn't write on the back of the postcard she wrote in the book, which was very difficult to read. And I finally decided to go ahead and take them out and use them. So none of them have any writing on the back or, you know, they weren't used in, um, postally. And this is just part of a document. Nice little paper. Another old bird book. Part of that um, receipt or payment sent. There's another old fabric swatch. It's just clipped on. You can move it. And the rest of that fragile 1882 document. Old book page. And then there's a pocket here. And you flip it up. And there's like a big tag here for journaling. It slips in the glassine envelope. I'm forgetting. I can't think who I got those from. Is it Took? Ugh. Number. And there's a pocket here. And this is just all clipped together. Actually, it doesn't really need a clip the way it's folded over, but I put it there just to be safe. And it's just got various little papers, a book page. A few postcards in here. St. Lorenzo. It's kind of more botanical theme, I think. And there's another uh, doily pocket and journaling, excuse me, card and part of the letter. And the rest of that page from uh, Rhonda Winstead in the back. With another large card like the one in the front, Youth Companion is what they're from. And they've been trimmed off, probably a calendar. But they're quite lovely.
He doesn't want to go back in. And that's that. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. It very well may go into my Etsy shop. And if it is, it will probably go in within the next oh, few days or so, I think. So thank you for watching. And um, thank you for commenting. Really is appreciated. I'll see you soon. Bye.